what's up guys today i wanted to get into four things you should consider when deciding a church to attend preferably in person you know but we all gotta start somewhere right and if you haven't watched my video on the three pros of why you should go to church preferably in person you should check that out check it out at the end of the day you know you have to be really careful when you're deciding what church you want to go to because there's a lot of churches out there that um, are christian churches but although there are things where it's like it doesn't matter choose it or leave it kind of thing that sounds so bad <laughs> there are things that are essential essential to the christian faith like if you don't believe in jesus christ that he came to die for our sins um i'm sorry but that's that's kind of essential if you don't believe in the holy spirit that's pretty essential and so um yeah you just have to be careful and so i'm gonna go into some of the four things to consider when deciding a church to choose First thing I'd like for you to consider when choosing a church is most important is pray. Pray. Prayer should be your first step, period. Ask God to lead you. I didn't do this years ago, okay? I didn't do this, all right? I could have saved myself the many sketchy experiences that I've had on going to sketchy churches. Now, this was more so in college. Um, I did the whole, it wasn't a home church, but it was kind of like a home church in a way, but not in a person's home. It was more on campus, so it was more with the people. Um, that was a little weird for me personally, but you know, God can move through that. So if you're a home church kind of person, do you, that's awesome. Great. Just make sure it's not a cult. All right. That's, that's just, that's not biblical and that's creepy. Ask God to lead you, pray, and he will guide you. And the thing is like, even if you choose wrongly, God will guide you out of that wrong decision. So just pray, believe that he's going to lead you and take a step. The second thing I'd like for you to consider when choosing a church is remember that just because it claims to be a Christian church doesn't mean it's actually a Christian church because, um, yeah it's crazy out there there's a lot of people calling themselves believers and doing some really sketchy things like practicing witchcraft practicing things that are not biblical snake worshiping um like there's just so many things it's it's really insane second peter chapter 2 verses 1 talks about how there's going to be false prophets and they're going to be teaching heresies and so you just want to be really careful which is why the first Things to consider was prayer. Obviously, like pray that God will lead you and just remember that just because it says it's a Christian church does not mean it's actually a Christian church. You really have to know what you believe. You, um, and even if you don't, if you're new and you're just starting to read the Bible and all of that, at the end of the day, God always protects his people. And so even if you go to make the wrong decision, God's going to lead you out of that. And so just trust the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. Be wise. If you start, like if you're attending church and things are getting cultish or creepy, they're trying to control you, um, you don't see any fruits of the holy spirit operating that church it's like controlling there's like just so many ways in which the holy spirit on the inside of you is going to like have your alarm bell going off so just keep that in mind you know you don't have to stay in the first church that you go to now if you've gone to like 30 different churches um that's something to consider like that is kind of like weird in a way you know because you know sometimes we're running from people because we feel like certain things keep happening to us but then it's like maybe it's us that's the problem but that's besides the point. I think you got the main point, which is just, you know, be careful. <laughs> Moving on. Third thing to consider is that, hey, like if you have friends who are believers, you see the fruit of the Holy Spirit operating in their lives. You see the evidence that like they're legit, you know, walking. I mean, you can never know. You never know. You never know, you know, but like sometimes you know, like, <laughs> so if you have friends, if you have family members who go to church, even if they're in a different state, they might know someone in your state or your, wherever it is you're at, that, you know, they might know someone else that can point you to a good church to try. Like you don't have to say that you don't like it, but it doesn't hurt to try, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. The fourth thing to consider is that at the end of the day, we have free will. It is okay to um, have a preference when it comes to a church, as long as it's a biblical church, like we have free will. God gives us opportunity to choose. And so at the end of the day, if you prefer a church that has just one ethnicity, that's okay as long as you're not racist, because that's, that's not biblical. But if you prefer to go to a mixed church, that's fine because you love diversity. I personally love diversity. I like to see different people from different walks of life. Um, so the church I go to, very diverse. We have everything. Like anything you can think of, we have it in our church for the most part. At least 80% of it. So it's pretty cool. I like it's it. To learn from people who come from different walks of life. And not only are they different ethnicity-wise, but we also all come from different backgrounds. Like I grew up in a Pentecostal church when I used to go to church. Some people come from Baptists. A Baptist background, Kojic, um, and so many other things. And so it's kind of cool to all come together. It is a non denomination church I attend. Um, that's another thing. Like, there's just so many options. And so, which is why it ties back into the first thing of like praying to God for guidance. A bonus tip, really, is just the fact that social media 
and maybe because I have introverted tendencies, like to me, it's like if I were to do this all again in the past when I was considering leaving my church, not for any bad reason, I just had a lot going on in my life at the time. I did only drive 30 minutes, which sounds awful. Absolutely, actually, it was about 40 minutes. Sounds awful, but I was working in like three different jobs, going to school and two different like fields, and it's just too much. And there was literally an amazing church five minutes from where I lived versus driving like the 40 minutes to get to my church. So I was considering leaving. And one of the ways um, that I did this, like once again, having a multicultural church is important to me or attending a multicultural church. So I just went on their social media. Um, There's a church I wanted to attend. So I was like, what does it look like? What do people there look like? Are there people around my age? And so YouTube and Instagram was very helpful. So that's another way to kind of like feel them out without actually going in because who knows what you're walking into, right? <laughs> um, as well as getting the opportunity to listen to the sermon and see what praise and worship looks like for them, just to feel a little more comfortable. But yeah, that's just a little bonus tip. My second bonus tip is don't forget, I mentioned this in my three pros of going to church video, but church is a hospital. You know, we're all there. We're not perfect. We all have our bad days. We all have our issues. God is working on us. So like go with some grace, like go with a lot of grace because people might irritate you because people might irritate you even on the first day. Unfortunately, like people are people and you know, we're all growing. Okay. So just know that it's worth it. God is worth it. The growth that you're going to experience by being part of a community is worth it. And so if you've experienced church hurt in the past, just like push that aside. Um, don't let anyone gatekeep you from, you know, experiencing community in church. It's amazing. I've grown so much because of the consistency of going to church as an adult and not just so I can tell my mom I'm going to church. <laughs> but it's just been really a huge blessing and has helped me grow in a lot of ways. And you can check out my pro video to see some of the ways in which attending church for the past couple of years has been a blessing to my life. But yeah, but when I moved to the current state that I am in, I was looking for a church home. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think to pray, which is why I'm telling you to pray. <laughs> but fortunately, God led me, he led me multiple times, but I chose a church that I'm going to literally because of the logo. That is so lame, it's so bad, it sounds so bad. But hey, if you are in graphic design, just know that God can use your work. Like God uses anything. Literally, my church's logo is what attracted me to going to that church. It reminded me of the non-denominational churches that I had attended in the states that I used to live in. Um, so I was just like, this looks, it's a non-denominational church. Looks like the churches I've been to before. And so I checked it out and it was amazing, amazing, amazing. It was huge. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am never going to make any friends here. But that was a lie. It's been really good. And I'm actually going to make a video on how to make friends at and, you know, get plugged into the church that you are in. That will be my next video. So come back and check that out whenever that is made. Anyways, I hope that you will consider some of these points that I've listed today. If nothing else, just pray, trust God, and you know, don't freak out. Just do what you gotta do. Go watch it, watch them on YouTube, check out their Instagram, um, and then just go in person. It'll be okay, it'll be fine. And let me know how that goes for you. Love to hear your testimony. So I'm just gonna pray right now, their father. I pray for whoever's watching this and is looking for a church home. I pray that you would guide them. That you would lead them to the right place for them that if for whatever reason if they're in a church right now that they don't feel comfortable in or it's not for them i pray that you give them the courage to leave that church and find another one and that you would just protect them through this process in jesus name we pray amen see you in the next video bye bye yeah okay i'm gonna go now